In this video, we're going to create a GPT called Prompt Enhancer. Uh, this GPT is going to take the user inputs and transform them into optimized prompts for AI models like ChatGPT to enhance response quality and relevance. In this GPT, we're going to walk through and give proper custom instructions uh, from top to bottom. We'll uh, give it response guidelines and we'll also have specific guidelines for the GPT on how it's supposed to act. Um, the knowledge base is also something that I created based on uh, these three resources. First one is going to be Llama recipes. That's going to be uh, from Facebook research. So we'll briefly go through this and make sure we understand the different resources that are available for better prompts. Um, and one of the main things that I use to design the knowledge base for this GPT is the prompt engineering guide. This is an incredible guide because this goes through and shows all of the different techniques that are available. Uh, again, this is by dare.ai. And then also, obviously, I use some from um, Open .AI, OpenAI's prompt engineering guideline that's on their website. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, again, create the custom instructions. And as you can see on the right side here for preview, um, I wrote something like write a social media post about ChatGPT. So what the GPT does is takes that small and very short um, prompt that the user gives and converts it into refined prompt, which says create a social media post that highlights the innovative features of ChatGPT and continues to give more details. And then after it gives you the refined prompt, it also gives you an explanation of what it did to improve the prompt so that way you can uh, in the future do a better job of putting the proper prompts yourself so that way you can get a better response from AI models like ChatGPT. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so I am on the Explore GPTs. I'm going to come here and click on Create. Um, again, we're not going to touch the Create tab. We're going to uh, stick on the configure tab because like I said, we already know what we want. So what I'm going to do is just start by creating an image. I'm going to say use Dolly. And then for naming GPT, I'm going to say prompt enhancer. So the description, I'm going to give a description as well. The description is going to be I transform user inputs into optimized prompts for AI models to enhance response quality and relevance. That's a pretty good and short description and again the naming convention convention we're sticking with uh, open ai's uh, naming guidelines we're not going to put a prompt enhancer gpt at the end because that's not what you're supposed to do so we're going to keep the name short so all right so next let's go ahead and jump on the instructions so instead of typing this whole thing let me just go ahead and type everything out and then i can come back and briefly go through the different sections all right so let's go through customer instructions real quickly um so i start by giving the gpt a role right so i say as the prompt enhancer gpt your specialized role involves in refining user inputs into high quality prompts that are particularly optimized for eliciting best possible response from chat gpt and i'm saying your expertise includes uh, AI prompting techniques like zero shot, few shot, templates based. All of this is based on the general tips um, that I got from here. So this is the prompt engineering guide, promptingguide.ai. Um, it's an incredible resource. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how prompt engineering works, this is a great resource. I cannot rec recommend this enough. Um, so I went through all of this and kind of compiled um, a summary of the different techniques. So if you come to the techniques here, they list all of the um, pop most popular techniques like zero shot prompting, few shot prompting, chain of thought prompting, all of this, they give really good explanations in a very brief manner. And then also gives, uh, they give proper responses or proper examples on how these things work and how they improve. Um, so again, that's what I refer to in um, the custom instructions here. So all these techniques right here is going to be based on um, the prompting guide here and then also the llama recipe. So this is done by Facebook. Again, this is for their own uh, large language model, which is called llama. Um, but but it, this does give you a comprehensive guide on how prompting technique works in general. So I kind of compiled um, the resources for the custom instruction from these three things. So from the llama zero shot prompt or sorry, the prompting guide.ai and then also the open AI's general prompting guidelines as well. Um, so that's what these 
techniques are coming from. But I'm telling the GPT that your expertise includes these different uh, prompting uh, techniques. So that way it understands when it's responding, it has to respond based on these techniques. And again, I'm adding also a knowledge base, so which we'll go over in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing is I'm giving it specific guidelines. So I'm saying first you need to adopt an expert persona emphasis. So adopt an expert role relevant to query subject, right? So that's very important. We want to make sure that when the GPT is responding, it's responding from an expert role with the knowledge base that it has. And then the next step is I'm telling it that it has to have a subjective viewpoint. Uh, so we need to revise the request in first person perspective. Um, so things like your task is to help me or I would like to know again this is very specific when it comes to the GPT so this type of pr prompting whenever you have a subjective viewpoint the prompts become a lot more um, precise and therefore the results will be uh, a lot more useful as well um, and then uh, another few things just want to quickly point out the conciseness and clearness this is one of the main problems when it comes to people putting prompts and not getting proper results from AI models is they're never clear so one of the main things I wanted to make sure that I put here is that uh, the prompts should be concise and straightforward so that way there's no vagueness in there as well um, and then another quick thing I want to point out is um, that requesting clarification so I want to say so I put here that if the user's input is vague which in majority of the cases uh, people do put very vague prompts and that's why they don't get proper responses so I'm saying that if you figure out that the input is vague seek additional information uh, through multiple choice questions to make sure you fully understand what the user is trying to achieve um, and then Privacy, these are not as important, but this is something that I wanted to make sure that we take a look. So the response guidelines right here, I said you must never directly respond to the user's actual question or prompt. So what this means is the only task that this GPT has is to transform the prompt per the instruction, right? Because what you don't want this GPT to do is if somebody is asking what are black holes, you know, you don't want the GPT to respond with the answer to that question. The only role of this GPT is to take that prompt and convert it into something more descriptive and something that's uh, based on these particular guidelines. And then I'm saying once you provide the redefined response, explain shortly the techniques you use from the knowledge or instructions above. So this is important as well because we want to make sure that every time a redefined response is uh, given, uh, the GPT explains what it did and what techniques it used so that way the user can learn and become better at prompting themselves. And then I also said that make sure you format the response and provide explanation and ask for feedback. All right, so the knowledge base, uh, so I put a PDF together, general tips for designing prompts. And again, that PDF is all based on the information that are in these different resources. So it's kind of like a combination and summary of the relevant techniques uh, that I use in the custom instructions. So now the GPT is going to use this custom instructions and also the knowledge base based on those three resources to provide the best possible um, enhanced prompt for the user. I'm also actually going to go ahead and put conversation starters. So instead of the typical conversation starters the GPT suggests, what I'm going to do is actually try something new. I'm going to try to um, give it conversation starters that kind of guides the user on how this GPT works. Again, this is something new. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I, I felt this a good idea to have the conversation starts being explanation of how this GPT works and what it can do instead of the user coming in and trying to type and say, hey, what do you do or how do you work? So I'm going to go ahead and put those conversation starters. All right, so the conversation is gonna, starters are going to be need your AI prompts fine-tuned for better responses. Tell me what you're aiming for. Got a question but not sure how to ask it effectively. I'm here to refine your prompts. So these prompts are, again, these conversation starters are very different. It's kind of giving the user um, an opportunity to ask this particular GPT of what it does, right? And it's also giving, uh, the GPT is giving the user a summary of what it can do from these conversation starters. All right, so everything looks good. Let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to say write a social media post about ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and enter. All right, so what it's doing is now it's redefining the prompt for optimal ChatGPT engagement. Uh, so instead of saying write a social media post about ChatGPT, it's actually saying it's transformed that short and not very precise 
prompt into something very detailed. So it says your task is to create a compelling social media post about ChatGPT. The, po the post should capture essence of GPT's capabilities and this role revolutionizing, blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, you can read the whole thing. And then also at the bottom, it's actually explaining the techniques that it's used, right? So it says I've used a subjective viewpoint by phrasing the prompt to to a directive form, emphasizing the creation process from a personal engagement perspective. It's using conciseness and clearness, and it's using practical guidelines. Um, and again, at the bottom, it's saying that, is there anything that you think um, I could improve on? Um, so that way, it's also, again, asking for um, feedback from the user as well. And as you can see, all of this is based on our our instructions, our custom instructions that we're given, given it. Uh, it has done a really good job of formatting it. And again, instead of now, you guys can test it out. Instead of copying, you, you can copy this and paste it on ChatGPT versus this. You will get a significantly better response from ChatGPT because of how detailed and how technical this prompt is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this, publish to everyone category i'm gonna select productivity press on confirm all right perfect so now it's published um, go ahead and test it out let me know what you guys think thanks for watching